So here we go, we're going to clean our glass house out because it's been left go over the summer because it gets too hot for any plants to survive. So we just let it go over the summer and clean it out in autumn to plant our winter veg throughout. So it's a glass house that I've made from scrap materials from the local scrapyard. Um, so it's basically a frame of star pickets which are all welded together and some timber screwed on here and there through the holes in the star picket. And the glass is actually office petitions from an office building that was demolished. So it's um, in total, I've spent about five, six hundred dollars on it. So here's our office petition. So that's the top part you can usually see through and there's your privacy screen that's usually down the bottom. So it's all recycled glass um, and recycled tin. So it's all made from star pickets as you can see. So it's a very cheap way to build a glass house. Um, there's a little bit of timber there, uh, just cheap pine that I've painted and screwed there for the laser life. The shelves are made from angle iron and a bit of square RHS. That's I had to buy that and the mesh. Uh, the roof is just a laser light uh, stuff you get from Bunnings. So here we can see it's just all star picket and I've got an irrigation system that runs on an bore pump that I can set up through winter to run automatically so it waters the plants through winter so it's fairly carefree. So it's a very simple design, very um, easy. Uh, I'm going to put a photo on here in a minute so you can see it before all the lining went on so when it was just a f skeleton before it was lined and painted and framed. So it's actually quite an effective glass house. I can grow veggies all winter through this, uh, lettuce and the like. I can even get the odd tomato out. So it's a very good design. So here's the actual frame when it was all welded up before I uh, painted it up. So you can see it's all star pickets. So we've got all these weeds to get rid of. So we're going to go time lapse because it's going to take us quite a while to get through all this. Hope you enjoy. Radio. So we've got all our stuff arranged here to do our planting for our winter veg in the glass house. So got myself some good bags of premium potting mix here. So the better the potting mix, the better the veggies. So don't skimp on your potting mix. And we've got all our pots here that I've kept from other plants that I've planted. So when it comes to planting my winter veg in my glass house, I've got plenty of pots. So what we're going to do is pot up the first round of uh, veggies so in two weeks time I'll plant some more so we've got steady growth of veggies through the season.
And here we can see all our veggies potted up around there. So there's not a great deal at the moment. There's doesn't look a great deal. There is quite a few there. But I progressively plant through winter to get more crops. And here's the irrigation system just running to water them all and get them on their way. So thanks for watching.